What's up, everybody? It's your boy, the RC Cargo. I'm sorry I got the light off. I just want to be in the dark for a bit, chilling. You know what I'm saying? So, this is a half not, half not, season 7, episode 5. Yup. Jimmy, come on, whatever. Whatever. I finally didn't tell you that much. So, we found out that Jimmy's not dead. He did get shot in the shoulder by a shotgun. He could have been dead, but David did say he was lucky to be alive. And Jimmy said, no, I'm not lucky at all. So, I don't know why David still defended Jim after all this shit. He still treat people like they he's beneath him. I'm about sick of his punk ass. Like, come on. I wish he was in a coma or dead on this show. Like, this is crazy that we got to go through this bullshit with him. And I'm not cool with that. And then you got Sabrina or Selena or whatever her name is. She's been trying to see Jim, but she's not family members. She, she's a co-worker who used to work for Catherine and Jim. Because Catherine is a powerful woman. I believe that. That's why she's rich. Because her dad would, used to be a powerful man. I mean, that's where she got it from. But for her to cry over Jim was really pointless because why are you giving him tears when he don't deserve it at the way he did? So why are there us a favor? And I'm not your white fans. You feel me? Um, we see Candace, you know, remember Candace beat the shit out of that hooker. And I was so fucking here for it because she was running her mouth. But she did get one deck on her. You know? And that's when we see um, Hannah and we see um, Candace and um, uh, Mitch. Because they, we, then we see Benny that kidnapped her. Jim, those are the guys that Jim hired to take out Benny. Because you know he wants his money. He keep telling Candace, where's my fucking money? And Candace said, you won't get your money until you release my brother first. Because... Jim wanted her to give her the money first. And we know the money is in the bank. We know, we find out that the money is not oh I mean, the bank is not open. So, Jim didn't, wasn't trying to hear that. And then, they're going to try to make it seem like Benny is murdered from this episode. I don't know if I believe that. There's no way they'll kill him off. You feel me? I don't know. Because Benny think that Jim is dead. Which I should have thought he was. But I knew he wasn't. Because as he remember last week she mentioned it. That Jim is still alive. And he still had an attitude. When David went to go see him. Then we know Veronica was at the house. We're about to get ready to go somewhere. Until we get the doorbell from George. George was trying to get Veronica to help him. But she said. No I'm not helping you. You could tell she don't like anybody. You could tell she's racist on the show. And she also homophobic. Which I don't like that shit. You still calling your son a, a girl. Call her a daughter. That's messed up. But we see, see Jeffrey talking to Madison. Madison was going to get him a ride. I think he was going home. And Madison was too because he had a long fucking day. And of course Justin clear his up once again he's stalking him he's a fucking stalker he need to be put down and david was standing right behind him and he even told him you come near my son again you'll see what happened because veronica maybe veronica hurt you but i can be worse than her it's like he threatening justin but it's just like it didn't phase him at all he just don't care all he wants jeffrey that's all he care about Assassin and it's ridiculous. What else happened? And speaking of why we seen why and Catherine's talking because Catherine was crying and why kept talking. He just don't care what happened to his father, pretty much. Um, what else? Ha what else going on? Um, okay, I'm trying to think. Oh, we got Charles, we got Oliver, we got Landon. He decided to get him his job back because he was trying to get refund at that. We knew Candace was raped, right? And that's why I see the way she is, but she changed. Ever since she got with Charles, she changed. And now, since she was tired of doing this street stuff, it's not for her anymore. Even she lost her son, and, and she had a wake-up call for what happened to her son. That kid was innocent. He didn't deserve to get a bullet in him. Oh my god, that was terrified. It was messed up. I'm glad nobody, I'm glad one of those kids didn't get killed on. It's always wrong. 
But we know that, remember back then, you know that, um, what was that girl's name? It's love each one because she had an older son. Remember, he was shot, but he was still alive. But I don't think that girl made it, though. But I can't wait till that come out. Whatever it's come out, it had to be soon. Sometime this month. Anything else I had to say? That's when Hannah and that's when Miss was talking to someone. And that's when Miss, that's when Miss and Candace was going to go. But Hannah said, I want to go, too. Because I'm going to confront him. I want to tell him to let our son go. Because Hannah want Candace to turn that money to Jim. And now Jim is like making a false threat to what happened to, you know, Candace's son. I say, that's a death warning for your ass. You should be careful what you say. Candace really loved that boy. That was her son. She was a good mom. She just made bad mistake, And she had, she regretted it ever since. But Jim just went too hard, keep digging and keep putting button. And you could tell Ken's wanna fuck his ass up, but she's not gonna hit him because he in the fucking bed. His arm, you know, he got shot in the shoulder. But David was, you know, was asking him a question. He told Jeffrey not to say anything to anybody unless I'm there. Cause we know how Jeffrey is. He would say what he had to say, get off his chest. So yeah, guys. I think that's all I'm going to cover there on the half and a half now because you know, I let you know that I don't talk about everything. Check Ashley Miller out and whoever else do have and have not, check them out. Alright, make sure you share the video, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.